Hi, it's Jenny. I live in Dorset in the UK. Um, I had AliExpress mail today. Um, cross stitch kit I got off of AliExpress. Um, Joy Sunday. I ordered it on the twenty second of October. It's here already, and it's lovely. It's a farm scene. It's fourteen count, and it's fifty four by thirty three centimeters, and it's lovely. Really like it. Looking forward to doing this one. There's your son. It comes in a bag. All the instructions on. It's 14 counts. So I only use two strands of threads on there. And I'm really back into the cross stitch again. Um, so I've got quite a few turning up. Counted how many. It's a bit. <laughs> quite a lot. Um, there's a pack. The photo. But I thought I oh, really like that. Really like that. The chart's really good. Um, it's on one, two. Right, it's big. I can read it. And um, they've got the codes there for the back stitch for uh and French knots on there. They got all the. Um, oops, falling on the floor nearly. They got all the DMC codes. It's a bit like a diamond painting chart where it's all set out. They're all full stitch. It's all like that. There's quite a lot of colours. 46. But it's a biggie. But the chart is lovely. I don't even need my glasses to read it, which is a good thing. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm really liking the chart. It's nice and colour and you can read it as well. The threads are lovely. Got two lots here. <laughs> and a lot of not a lot. I didn't realise there was two when I looked at it. <laughs> oh I'll have to hide these. Um but yeah there's two lots stapled together, which is good. You get two needles up there. And the colours are gorgeous. Really like them. Move them that way, man. Can't show it off with the other side because they're all. Ooh, ooh. There you go. And a nice, nice amount of threads there. So yeah, I should put that in a bag in a minute before I lose it, or, or put it in here until I get in here until I get to it. But the canvas is huge. I said it was, uh, I did say it, didn't I? It's 54 by 33 centimetres. I haven't got the measuring tape to see if it's the right size, but it's big. And it's big. And it's nice and easy to read. Uh, I can read that quite well. Uh, so, yeah. But I look forward to doing it. I love doing landscapes and cottages and scenes. It's me. It really is me. I have to go out of the comfort zone every now and then. But one like this. I want to do it. And that but the colours are lovely. They got all the numbers down below. Don't know if it's the same as that. Sometimes they aren't. Yeah. It says one. Yeah. One one five two three ten three fifteen three seventeen. It goes down the same down there, but they've got numbers on there, but they've got the blood different ones along there. And I, I normally go by the ones on here. And just follow the number, but it's lovely. Uh, it's stiff, but it'll unstiff them once you stitch on it. And that, but it's nice and big. It's a bit frayed bit there. Extra added bit. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Really enjoying doing these again. Uh, but I love the colours. love that you can see it. And there's not a lot of yellow on it. Um, but, that's... Uh, Gonna be fun to do that one. 
I'm going to have to hide it until I finish the other ones because I want to start it. I am a serial starter when I get my cross stitch. I'm terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, I like having quite a lot of projects on the go, so I get bored quite easy. Um, so it might get started. And I'll have three going until the others turn up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's fun. And they're nice, nice kits. They didn't cost me much. It was under a under five pounds. So it was quite cheap. And that so and you get all the threads and the canvas and everything. And you get quite a lot. So I'm quite pleased with that. I need to get that off. So it's stapled. Yeah, that's better. I'll just go get all tangled with that. Yeah, but hmm. in pretty colours. Feel nuts. I like that it comes with all the codes. So if I misplace any, I can go get some more, which quite often I do. As a Jean Luc. And he likes to run off with the threads if he's having a tantrum, which he does quite often. <laughs> uh, but no, so it's just a short, quick one to show one that's coming. I've got another one, um, it's a TARDIS, but that's already opened. I don't know what I've done with the bag, it's a lovely one. Um, so I might start that one as well somewhere. To tell you, I'm a serial starter. I can't remember what they used to call it in the stitching days. Stitchyitis. <laughs> we used to say we got stitchyitis. Got something else on the go. I just remembered it. It was always funny when we were in the old um, Stitchaholics group on Delphi. We used to say got stitchyitis. We started something new. <laughs> uh, uh, that used to be quite fun. All right, so got a new one turned up, really like it. It's packaged well, and you can use this as a project bag as well. And it's got all the instructions on how to wash it and do it, and it's got the stitches on the bottom as well. And that, so that's that. There's another cross stitch to do, stamp one. Really like the stamp one. It says it contains a fabric, the cotton thread, needle, and instructions. Which it does, and it's a 14 count. I've got quite a few 11 counts coming, but my favourite is 14 count. I've always done 14 count. That was 14 count. The angel one there, that was the guardian angel or something. Can't remember. One of the lavender and lace ones. I've done quite a load of those. So, right, I'm going to go. Hope you're staying safe and staying well. And I'll speak to you soon.